Map Gen is probably one of the greatest things ever to come to Forge Alliance Forever. It offers infinite customization and a lot of variety whenever it comes to maps. So if you're tired of playing Seton's Clutch, if you're tired of playing Hilly Plateau, if you're tired of playing Canis, all of them are fantastic maps, but they can get old after a while. And it's really, really nice to spice things up with a map gen game where nobody has any preset build orders. Everybody is gonna have to Everybody's gonna have to improvise as they go, and that's really, really awesome. You can see on the client right now, we've got several map gem game map gen games that are hosted. One of them by Fong, actually. Fong's probably one of the best hosts out there. Uh, if you guys have not played one of his games, uh, he's super chill, especially to the newer people that watch my channel. As you can see, rating limits are for babies. He was one of the only people that would let me play whenever I was like a 100 or even a negative 700 level player whenever I was first getting started. And he was instrumental in getting me out of the negative 700. But the point of this video is not really to just sing Fong's praises, but it's more to uh, show you guys how to regenerate maps that are map gen, because a lot of these are people generate them, they play one game, they go bye-bye, and some people have wanted to regenerate some of these Neuroxis map gen games and wanted to replay certain maps in the games. Now, specifically, there was one person that asked on my most recent cast um, how to, what, what was the map name? Like how to actually play the map. It was the uh, four teams of three, so the three v three v three v three. Yeah, that's right. Um, how to actually get that map. And I'm gonna show you guys actually how to pull and regenerate a map gen from a, a, a replay ID. So. For those of you guys that are interested in getting the replay ID that was in that particular cast, I put the replay ID in the description below. And here's what you need to do in order to regenerate any map that you see from any caster that is on Neuroxis Map Generator. So um, I post my replay IDs, I believe Willow and Guy will do as well. Acid Vash, Derp, they should all do the exact same thing. If you guys don't, shame on you. You guys should drop the replay IDs in the description. But with the replay ID, we can get to here on the replay screen. So this is the actual replay that was within Forge Alliance Forever. Now, if we click on this, we can get the actual map uh, URL or map seed as it is. It's not actually a URL, but it's a seed. Now, if we, we try and drag, we can't actually copy this, but if we right click, we can actually copy this out. So if we copy this out, now we can regenerate the exact same map. So. Keep in mind, we've got four primary islands with a lot of other islands that are in there. Now, if we exit out of this, go back to our play, create a game. Now you're gonna wanna click this generate new map. And actually, as you can see, I've already generated it, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do this exactly. So generate new map brings up this screen. Now, if you guys are generating maps just randomly, you guys can mess with all of these settings if you guys would like. For the purposes of this video though, I'm just going to right click and hit paste. Now. One thing that you're gonna to have to do is if you just right click and paste this in and then you click generate new map, it's gonna give you an error. Map name is not a generated map name. Now this is a pretty unhelpful error code if you, if you ask me, but really all it means is whenever we copied this, we copied the on here. So as you can see on the screen right here, we have on Neuroxis map, Neuroxis map generator. And then I believe this is a, I'm, I'm gonna guess that this is a hash value, but it's, it's some, it's some, uh, alphanumeric value that describes the map so that whenever the algorithm goes in and says, what do I need to create? It looks to the Y, J, V, L, K, K, et cetera, et cetera here, and says, this is the type of map that I need to generate. So uh, this is essentially just an alphanumeric description of the map. And uh, for those of you guys that really get into hashes and understanding hashes, et cetera, I'm not, a, I'm not an expert on that, but um, that, is what the algorithm needs to be able to procedurally generate this map. Again, so if we just backspace this out and leave just Neuroxis map generator and click generate new map, we get a new map here. It's currently generating. And bada bang, bada boom, we get our four map, four island map. We can load into it. And this is how you can get a, a, a map from, this is how you can get a map from anything just from a replay ID. Even if it's an Oxus map generator, we'll load into it. I'll just click ready real quick, load into the game. And you guys might be hearing a little bit of background audio because I'm not on headphones right now. But as you can see, it's the exact same map that was on uh, my cast. Even though this was a uniquely generated map, we're able to take 
the seed from the map and still get the exact same map that was in the that was in the cast. So hope that this is helpful for you guys. Um, this is going to be a really quick tutorial, like five minutes, but hope this is very helpful. I'll publish this with uh, another video because you know I know you guys love the you guys love the long videos, but yep. Hope it was helpful. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.